Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, Selenium tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to automate the basic authentication. So let's begin. First, we will try to understand what is basic authentication and then we will see how we can automate this one. For that, I am going to Internet Heroku app and just click on this link here. And here you will see that this is a basic authentication. So if I click on this one, so it will take to this particular alert pop-up, right? Where we need to provide the username and password. Now problem here is that if I click here, you cannot inspect this one, right? And if we cannot inspect, this means that we cannot find this using the driver.find elements, right? Similarly, if I click on this one or if this button, this means that we need to go with some different approach here, right? So they have already provided the username and password, which is admin and admin. Let me click on sign in. And after signing, we will get this message. Congratulations, you must have a proper credentials, right? So this is a basic authentication. Let me show you again. Just click on this one. And this is a basic authentication. But right now, as we have already provided a username and password that's why it takes you directly to the this particular congratulation message now we need to automate this one right and we saw that we cannot inspect those particular fields which was username and password right so let me open the clips here and let me go here and let me go to our script section and let me create a new class here and let me name it as automate let's click on main method and finish this one let me copy some basic code from here and let me paste it here get done now we need to provide the url right so here there is a trick there is a cache there are multiple ways to handle this one but in this particular video we would be using a very simple way to automate this one so in order to automate this one what we need to do is that we need to provide the username and password and we need to append it with the url so let's do it here and let me go back here so this is a url and let me paste this url here and here as per this approach we need to append the user name colon password then add the rate of url right so let me go here and provide the username and then colon then the password and then at the rate this url right so this is the url so let me copy this one from here and paste it here and let me show you what happens now this is a very easiest way in our upcoming session, we will see some different methods to automate this one as well. But right now, let me run this one and see what happens. So ideally, it should log in and uh, it should take to our congratulations page. And computing. let's see what happens. So you can see that. It successfully takes us to the congratulations page here right now uh, if I go back here so this is not uh, the good approach to do right so better push can be like what I will do is that I will create a string here and name it as username will assign the value which is admin here and similarly what I will do is that I will assign 
or create the string and assign the value to password okay so similarly I will go here string password equals to colon admin and that's it now similarly because we have saved these values admin to username and password okay and similarly what we will do is that we will create an other string we will call it as url and let me save some value to the url now here if i copy this one okay this one from here and let me paste it here and let me terminate this one okay. now here what i need to do is that instead of providing the static value i need to provide the dynamic values like like i need to pass this string variable username and string variable password here instead of passing the static value admin admin okay so for that what I need to do is that I need to concatenate these variables here. So let me concatenate this one here and first the name then plus which is concatenation then colon right and after colon, we need to provide plus password, then plus, and then we need to provide this at the rate plus, then at the rate would be in double quotes. So let me copy this whole it here this from here okay and then we are good to go so now we have successfully concatenated this one like username password then we are concatenating with this at the rate the rest of the URL right now what I will do is that instead of providing this whole thing here I will pass this variable which is known as URL okay? so that is a good way to do that right and let me save this one and let's run this and see either we have properly concatenated this one or not so it will open here and it will redirect to the url and let's see what happens here it's taking some time because uh, the reason is that it's appending the username and password to the url in order to authenticate the user right So you can see that we have successfully authenticated here as well, right? So this is the one way to, you know, automate the authentication. There are other ways. So in our upcoming sessions, we will see how we can automate this using the different ways. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. We hope that you have learned something today. See you in the next tutorial.